Good morning, guys. I am so swollen. Something loud is happening outside. All right, so we're doing a week in my life. It's been a while since I vlogged. To be quite honest, I did like a full week in my life before I moved. I just waited forever to get footage to um, Jana, my wonderful, amazing editor. And it was just like so long ago. We're starting a new week in my life and I'm gonna get this footage to her ASAP. I don't know, sometimes I just don't like when I post a vlog like way later than when it actually occurred. Today is Thursday. I started this week of my life yesterday because I kind of want to and wanted to include the weekend. And I've been loving filming the weeks of my life. We're sitting in my new kitchen right now. I haven't done anything on YouTube to show you guys the new place, but I am filming right now like a move-in vlog that's gonna be a compilation over time of me like moving in. So right now it's like 10.08. <laughs> I usually wake up around like 8, 8.30, but we had wine night and stayed up a little too late last night. So I let myself sleep in. I've gotta go to my trainer at 11. Before that, I have to go get an Uber to Iman's house because I left my car over there last night and then, which is like on the way to my trainer. So we're gonna go do that. And I also have to get gas. I already know that I have like five miles till empty. So I need to leave a little early, which means I'm not gonna make myself a big breakfast right now, but I am gonna make myself coffee because we gotta, we gotta go. I've been having a great time doing my new morning routine, which typically is like going outside, getting some sunlight, and then drinking my water, reading my book a little bit. I do a little visualization in the morning, usually when I'm still laying down. I do a little journaling if I want to, and then I'll make myself breakfast and then have coffee. I also have been trying to have coffee, like wait to have coffee, like not right when I wake up. This morning is an exception. Can I tell you it like literally sounds like a war zone outside? I don't know what's happening. I feel like they hear like a helicopter. <laughs> Okay, so while this is heating up, this uh, my beautiful little tea kettle thing, I'm gonna have to go straight from this workout to like a gifting suite thing, which obviously you guys are coming with me. Um, I might go to Stagecoach this year, so I'm gonna go to this like Western kind of gifting thing. Whoa, that reminds me of this dream I had last night. You know when you can't remember it, but you know it was weird? I'm going to this gifting suite, so I'm gonna have to like really freshen up. Um, the gifting suite and my trainer are like literally right next to each other. I'm just gonna pop in right after the workout. I'm gonna be gross, but you know, what can you do? And then we're probably gonna go to lunch with Josie today if she's done with her massage in time. <laughs> and then what else do I have today? I have something later, I think. Mostly just working. I had a podcast episode come out today. I'm gonna have to do some promo for that. I've been loving this French press action lately. It's been really nice. I feel like it makes me feel at least like my life is like going slower because I can't just like press a button and the um, coffee comes out of the like Nespresso or whatever. So I stopped using my Nespresso machine. Plus I've been like ordering regular coffee with regular cream lately. Like if I go to Alfred, I will literally order coffee with half and half. Every time I go with one of my friends, they're literally just like, 
Ew, like what are you ordering right now, you psycho? So we're gonna have coffee with regular cream. Coconut sugar. I'm gonna let this sit for like five minutes. All right, now we're gonna pack my bag and make my little coffee and we're gonna go. I just put on this little brown set from Beyond Yoga and this aloe jacket. I don't really love this look. We're gonna go lift today because I just felt like I needed to do that. I skipped my lifting. Monday and Wednesday for like other workouts, um, more like work related workouts actually. Like yesterday I went to Aloe, which was so fun. But I have to go in now and, and lift because I've been loving lifting weights lately. I never thought I'd say that, but it gives me so much energy. It's made my body look and feel like 20,000 times better. And I just love it. I don't know what it is. She's a weightlifting girly now. My problem is I don't really know what I'm doing. So I have a trainer tell me, Chelsea, and I love her. I've been working out with her since October. And I just feel like my body has definitely changed. And we only work out twice a week together. Um, and then I try to do like one other workout. Because for me, I feel like three workouts a week is like enough. And then otherwise I like try to walk and stuff like that. I feel like when I pressure myself too much to like get workouts done and on the calendar, I just don't. So now I'll work out like three times a week. And if I work out one more time, it's like extra and fun, you know? And I'm like, wow, you're really killing it, girl. This is kind of a lot of coffee. I've been using this sweet cream. I almost like don't even need to put coconut sugar in this because it's pretty sweet. Also last night, because I wasn't home until like late um, after wine night, I didn't do my like nighttime routine, which has been to like clean everything. So I'm gonna need to do that today as well. All right, so we've got my coffee and my little to-go reusable cup. Now let's get everything together. I'm actually gonna put like some SPF and everything else on when I'm in the Uber. <laughs> on the way to get my car. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a brush too, because obviously. I can't wait till I get all my furniture so we don't have to always like crash at mom's house. We can come over here too. All right, hair tie. I'm also gonna bring a protein shake. I love these Owen ones. My big water bottle, this is also on Amazon. Keys, headphones just in case. And then my favorite new sunglasses. I used to wear my Celine sunglasses every single day, then I lost them and I couldn't justify purchasing them again because they're so freaking expensive. So I got these from Amazon. I've been wearing them every day. Also linked on my Amazon. Probably. And also I don't care about them so much because they're so cheap. So I just like throw them in here and we're good. Putting my shoes on because my Uber's gonna be here soon. We are on our way. All right, step one is done. Step two, go to get gas on my way because I literally have no gas. Also my car, I have like Goodwill stuff in the back. I have this like huge whiteboard in the back. <laughs> that is so heavy. I like need someone to help me bring it in my apartment. It is so gross outside yet again. I am so upset. I did not move here and pay some crazy rent prices, crazy rent prices for this weather. It's very upsetting. I'm gonna actually have a meltdown internally though. That's where I do my meltdowns inside. I don't do them on the outside usually. Now we're at the gas station. Gas is $5 a gallon. I will riot. Here's the thing, if the sun was out, I'd be a little less upset about this. I'd still be upset. It'd still be like a little dagger to the heart. It's not out. It's rainy and disgusting, and I'm paying this high rent price and $5 a gallon for gas. The math isn't mathing, you know? First of all, yesterday was a great day. A really, really good day. But last night, Iman and I like to do this thing where we'll do wine night, and then when the wine runs out, we're like, yeah, we're already here. Like, what about a little martini action? <laughs> And when I say martini, I literally mean a vodka and soda in a martini glass. <laughs> so, you know, that's why I'm so freaking swollen. And of course we had to invite our male counterpart to participate in girls night with us. So he was like on the couch with us, all of our feet crossed, talking about boys. It was so fun. A single girl life update. I forgot what it's like to be single on social media. I don't want to speak to men. I don't want to speak to them really at all, but I forget that they reach out to you on social media because I do social media for my job. I'm not really that social on it. I usually kind of get on and get off and like, I don't even really see my friends post at this point. I've had to like star everyone that I want to keep up with because I just wasn't seeing any of their stuff. People are reaching out to me, men that I know and men that I don't know. I'm like, what makes you think I would fucking answer this. I just got out of a two and a half year relationship with someone I thought I was getting married to. <laughs> and I have been so far outside of like the realms of like thinking any other guy even exists for that entire time. So now like to see men flirting with me or reaching out to me, it's like a very weird experience and I hate it and I wish it would stop. I've gotten a lot of texts like yesterday, I got a text that was like, this is like the first text in the thread because me and this person haven't talked in so long. Single P, welcome back. And it was like a gif of future and it said sensational and like 
No. What's funny is like I either want to be single and not speaking to men or I want to be married and impregnated. No in between. I don't know how I'm going to get to the one extreme without the in between, but right now we're we're on the left side. Girlies, how have y'all been dealing with this? Is done. Oh my gosh, these people have a cu the cutest lemon tree in their backyard. I need, I need to drink some water. I think the gifting suite is pretty close to where I am right now, which is why I brought all my stuff here. So I'm gonna sit here for a second and gather myself because I just feel like ass. Like I feel good because I always feel good after lifting, but like my body is just like exhausted. All right, y'all. So I'm sitting in a grocery store parking lot and I'm gonna do a little revamp of my face and self. I also don't want to be the first person there. I want to go do something with myself. There's a little like rolling greens plant place across the street. So I might run in there. I definitely don't need any more coffee. So I can't go to a coffee shop or something. I usually don't use makeup wipes, but I have them in my car for like just in case moments. Oh my gosh, I need to go to Face Gym. Face Gym, if y'all don't know, it's like a face workout really it's like lymphatic drainage for your face i feel like after i go like this part of my like jaw and like just my whole entire face like is de-bloated i'm gonna have to drink like double the amount of water i'm also drinking my little protein shake as well lately i have been seeing so many angel numbers i've talked about this before so i was seeing two 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 everywhere and 22 just repeating twos um, and now every time i look at the clock every time i look at like a building or something it's always repeating numbers 11 11 or 12 12 or all fours or all six like just it's crazy so i'm feeling like that's the universe talking to me i could be insane i do leave room for that to be a possibility i think it's the universe talking to me all right spritzing now we're gonna add some moisture back into this foss my clear stem i always return to this i don't have a spray tan or anything like i think i just have orange palms i love this brand so much that is so so I'm in the valley right now and I really love the valley. I think if I bought a place in LA, it would be here because the houses are like cheaper and it's really pretty. I love my drive back from Chelsea's because I go through like the canyon and it's so pretty. All right, now we're doing some sunscreen. So my point with that was I've been trying to just like save money where I can. I've been making my coffee at home, which saves me like $6 a day, which is so ridiculous. This little mini massage feels good. Wow, I kind of feel like a new person after that. Okay, now we'll do a little bit of makeup. We're gonna go with a little brow action first. I haven't gotten my brows like done in over a year. I need to find a brow person here because the girl I normally go to is like, so busy. She's so good. Her name's Tori Lynn Brows on Instagram, but she, her schedule is so busy. I feel like I need to go find someone. She's literally the last person that did my brows over a year ago. And then I moved away and then I just didn't go to anybody else. Okay. We're going to do a little baby concealer. I have like melasma over here, but I rarely actually cover it because it honestly doesn't even work to cover it very much. Like you can still see it. I look so much brighter with just that little bit of concealer. All right, we're gonna do just a teeny amount of blush. Great. We got a little bit of powder going on. I cannot let anyone get too close to me because my breath smells like coffee and protein shake. Teeny amount of lip liner on. Ooh, I need to go to Sephora. Bronzer stick. Next we've got the lips. I also didn't tell you guys this. I didn't give you the update. I didn't bring the leather jacket with me. There's no way this is gonna be a week in my life because this is gonna be way too long. This might just be like a couple days of my life. I already can tell this is gonna be a long vlog. I brought my little oversized button down because this was giving like, boot barn right i love these guys i have like so many of these little vintage button down things now that i'm ready let's go to sephora and get a little bronzer stick then we're gonna go to the boot barn thing the holy mecca y'all i feel invigorated all right so i think i'm gonna get she's sculpted i believe i am getting so much shit y'all i did not need to do this all right guys i have horrible news i just spent way too much money i was overdue for a restock first of all i needed some new eye masks so i got these guys also since we last spoke spoked oh my god since we last spoke 
I made an appointment at Face Gym for tomorrow. So I'm gonna get my face depuffed before I record an episode tomorrow. I'm realizing on podcasts, because I'm now remembering, obviously we're doing video episodes now or in like video footage for like podcast clips. Um, I look like ass. <laughs> So I need to just get everything deep up. Anyway, part of the reason everything was so expensive just now is because I got this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love this stuff so much when I was like, it's 70 fucking dollars, but it's worth it to me. It's so good. Like I don't want to like it so much. Another thing that I did that was kind of stupid was I bought these Sephora Pro brushes. I got contouring brush to go with the new Patrick Ta thing I got. And then I got um, a bronzer brush as well. I actually did need these. I probably could have gotten them for way cheaper elsewhere. I'll look on Amazon because I actually have Amazon brushes right now. And if I find something I like better, I'll return them. Because they're literally like, I think both of them together were like $70, which is stupid. I got my Ilya Skin Tent. I love this stuff for just like day to day. I got that Master Metallics from Makeup by Mario. I don't really have any good eyeshadow palettes, so that was necessary. I picked up my Hourglass Concealer. Um, this is this color Silk. I love that concealer. I got that Patrick Ta. She sculpted bronzer stuff. This, this is what I went in there for. We got the Future Dew from Glossier. And then I got this dry shampoo from Rock and Oil because I don't have any dry shampoo right now. So it's all stuff that like I really could use. Sephora is so expensive. The sun is out. The clouds are dissipating. We love it. Now let's go to this boot barn thing. Let's see what this is all about. All right, y'all, we're headed into the gifting suite. Here's my outfit. These sunglasses are just doing a great job. Okay, I just got home and my little garden is sprouting. The thyme over here and the oregano. The mint isn't doing so hot. We've got chives right here kind of sprouting. I think this parsley got messed up. This parsley seems to be doing fine. But we've got this cilantro happening here and something's going on with this seed. So this is my first little batch though. So I feel like a little less than half will probably be okay. <laughs> All right, so I got home and I popped my zit. Lovely, it's about 5 p.m. right now, 4.20 actually the gifting suite was my little texas girl dream today it made me want to go to a stagecoach and i don't know like i haven't got any tickets or anything like that so we'll see how that goes for me but i kind of want to go now i really don't have much to do in the way of like stuff outside the house today um i do oh i started my period today y'all it actually makes so much sense uh, makes so much sense from the last month just also the bloating and the freaking everything i think i'm just gonna clean and organize a little bit more tonight order some more furniture on the internet. I'm still waiting for my couch to get in. So my living room is so bare right now. I need to go get a console table and I really want to go to the CB2 outlet they have. It's in, it's kind of by LAX. I got a couple of things that y'all will see in the moving vlog probably, uh, which should be coming pretty soon. I wanted, like I have this thing where when I move, I kind of want to get everything together first. I know it's going to take a while, but I do want to make sure I have my couch, like the basics of the furniture before I show you guys everything so anyway i got my desk my dresser and my entryway table from the cb2 outlet um i think total with the cost of the people moving it same day like literally into my apartment was 2100 dollars for all of those things that it's all crate and barrel or cb2 like pretty wild um so i want to go back and get a console table and I need to order my dining room table. Anyway, I think I'm gonna organize and just like, I have so much stuff everywhere. I might take a little gummy <laughs> and do that. But first I'm gonna sit down and read. And by read, I mean probably read five pages and then watch TikTok, because I just need to lay for a sec. So I just took a two and a half hour nap because I'm so tired. My period cramps right now are <clears throat> absolutely murdering me. Really do feel that gummy. <laughs> So I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna eat this uh, Banza pasta. I know I'm gonna want something else after this. More snacks maybe. I dominated the snacks yesterday. All the snacks I brought are gone. I'm gonna watch some of the show Luther because I started that two nights ago and it was actually pretty good. So we're gonna watch that. I'm watching Luther in my office. Here's my lawn chair. Watching Luther eating these true fruit things. Ever since the octopus guy on TikTok posted about these, They've been sold out at every grocery store I went to. Like, this is literally the last bag. They are so good. Good morning, guys. Somehow more swollen than yesterday. What's today? Friday? It's already Friday. That's so crazy. I feel like this week went by so fast. So it's like nine right now. Bumped my bedtime back a little bit because I stayed up until like one. I really try to get eight hours of sleep every single night. 
like even if I have something to do in the morning, I just will usually sacrifice like everything else to get sleep now because I just feel like it's the most important thing. We'll get up and have my water. I'm too lazy to make a breakfast right now, so I'm just gonna have this protein shake and some fruit probably. Supplements, of course. This is an antidepressant. Gotta get her right done in the morning. And then my probiotic, my ritual probiotic. They talk about this on like every platform that I'm on. I'm pretty sure, hopefully the code is still active, but if you guys wanna try the ritual probiotic, I also do the multivitamin, but that's at night time. You guys can use code Peyton20. I know it's like a thing, Andrew Huberman. Um, if you're not familiar, you should listen to the Huberman Lab podcast. He's like huge on within the f like 20 minutes of waking up, you should get sunlight in your eyes. So I want to make my back patio like my little morning oasis. I have some of my lawn furniture or my one of my lawn chairs or patio chairs is in my office right now. The other one is outside and I also have this like big mat that I got. It's like a, it's essentially like a larger yoga mat and I'm gonna go put that outside and like stretch for a second and maybe read my book for a little bit. He also says wait like an hour after waking up to have coffee. I'm not gonna have my coffee until like an hour. We'll see how that goes. All right, here's what's happening back here so far. I kind of have like all of this space. I always hear those birds chirping every morning. It's so nice. So my other chair looks like this and then I have like a little table. Um, I just laid this mat out just now. I'm gonna like roll it up when I'm done with it. Usually I'm not gonna leave it out. I want to get like a lemon tree. I was looking at like a little mini fire pit or something. I think that would be nice. Um, but yeah, at least a lemon tree and maybe something, I don't know, maybe another little mini garden thing. We'll see. I'm giving you a little updates, but I promise I'm going to do a full moving vlog and show you guys the empty apartment tour and then like everything I got basically. So now I'm going to sit out here and read and drink my water and my protein shake. And I'm not, I don't really have anywhere to put you guys to record because I don't have a tripod right now. So just imagine me sitting right there and I'll do some stretching. Okay. okay, so I just did some reading. I only read like 10 pages. I feel like I just feel a little anxious and distracted right now. So I did some stretching for a hot sec. Um, but I've been reading this book, Trick Mirror. It is so freaking good. Like I've underlined like crazy, just so much stuff. But I try to commit to like at least 10 pages a day. Sometimes I read a little bit more, but not this morning. I really would like to have some coffee. It's also freezing outside. And I just was out there thinking about how much I want coffee this whole time. I don't even like need coffee to wake up. I just like, I love the ritual of it, you know? Uh, I need to just start getting like half-calf or decaf or something. I also didn't do my dishes last night. Again. <laughs> I just like was not feeling it. My period cramps, y'all, this little go around have been awful. I just laid in bed with my little heater on yesterday. Okay, so let's make some coffee. And while I do that, I'll tell y'all what we're doing today. So one, I have a workout in like an hour. I, like I said, try to work out at least three times a week. I believe this will be my third workout this week. I kind of just did them all like back to back to back. After that, I'm gonna come back here and shower. And then I've got a facial at face gym which is gonna like hopefully like it's like a lymphatic drainage facial hopefully that'll just like depuff my face and then uh we're gonna go record a podcast episode which i'm actually after we make this coffee gonna start prepping that but i'm gonna do so while laying down in my comfy bed <laughs> today on the podcast the podcast the episode i'm gonna record I'm gonna talk about five things that have improved my life like vastly within the last couple of months. So like, I'm just gonna say like within 2023 so far. And one of them is strength training. I already told you guys that I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through. I have some like, while I'm prepping this episode right now, like for example, with the strength training stuff, I went on a couple of different websites to understand like why strength training is making me feel the way it does. So I can actually like read something off that makes sense instead of just recounting my own experience. Cause I'll do that as well. But sometimes you just need like better information. Um, so I'm going to do that for all of the rest of these. And that'll be a quick episode. I need to also prep podcast ads. I feel like I just spent all my life prepping podcast ads. I don't know what it is about putting together a podcast ad script that makes me so anxious. <laughs> but it really does. I don't know why. It's not rocket science, okay? I'm sad I didn't do my nighttime routine last night because I really do love waking up to, usually it's just like a clean dishwasher. Everything in here is clean. I did wipe the counters off, so that's something, I guess. I'm having this Bulletproof coffee. I've been just testing out new coffees. Um, I got one from Amazon that was like really highly rated. 
It was alright. I think I like the bulletproof better. I just got this at the grocery store. Okay, and then after we record, I'm gonna come back here and do my night routine because I might go do something tonight. I'm not sure. I might go be social. We'll see. It's also St. Patrick's Day today. But Saturday will be a big social day. I feel like I have so many friends who are like separately doing stuff. I'm gonna let this sit for like five minutes. I didn't mix it up. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna try to do my nighttime routine with the cleaning and the refreshing of the apartment and stuff this evening. I also need to spray tan myself. All right, my workout outfit is a little bit extra today. I've got this set on from The Giving Movement. I love this brand so much. And I've just got my Nike shoes on it, as you can tell. She needs a little tan. Boop. All right, let's go. Here's the workout we're doing today. Boonda just kicked my freaking ass. It's like berries, but specifically for your ass. So it's like Stairmaster, floor. You go back to the Stairmaster, then the floor of the Stairmaster. Kicked my ass. All right, y'all, I did a quick change. I didn't wash my hair, and I actually need to do that whenever I get home. I don't really have time right now. So I'm wearing my cute little vintage crop top and these aloe sweatpants as per usual. And we're gonna go up to Face Gym and she's gonna snatch me. My face is gonna be snatched, my jaw is gonna be snatched. Update, I did in fact cancel all my work all my social plans to go to container store. We're going to the CB2 outlet and then I'm gonna come home and organize, probably just lay. It's gonna be the best night ever. I've been trying to make myself be social. You know, I just need some alone time. Me saying I need alone time as I spend all of my time alone. <laughs> I love driving through neighborhoods knowing that I'll never be able to afford a house there. So nice. We're gonna go to a container store and get these shoe things. I am so excited to get my closet all cleaned. I also just have so much stuff in the apartment like, things I need to like throw away. Everything needs to be cleaned. If by some miracle I come across this dining table that I want today, I will cry tears of joy. I don't know when my couch is gonna be ready. I know it's getting made from Six Penny Home. I'm kinda waiting on that to see the size of it and everything. Like I know the size, but I just, it's easier for me when I see it in the space. Um, but I have like an idea of where things are going so far. So kind of just itching to get my space done. My rent started March 1st, I believe. My lease is for a year and I'm like, some of the furniture takes months <laughs> to arrive. So it's like at some point when I'm finally done with the space, I'll probably be moving by then again, which is so annoying. I need to start looking into like getting something more permanent, but it just seems really overwhelming to start all that process. I probably just need to get my life together first. Probably just need to get a couch first. All right, y'all, I am feeling snatched. Basically, I did the regular like signature sculpt facial that they have, and they use all these different tools and stuff, and then I did the buccal fat thing, and I didn't get a video because like when I tell you, her hands were inside my mouth with both hands, <laughs> just like spreading my mouth open. <laughs> and like really rubbing it in. I asked for a medium to heavy pressure, and like I'm telling you, like this is like, I don't want to film sometimes these kinds of things because I know they have like a signature way of doing things and I don't know if they want everyone to know the exact way, you know? You can not be rude, but basically they're just slapping your face and then massaging and then slapping. <laughs> like literally, I just got beat the shit out of. <laughs> and it feels great. I feel like my face lost a thousand pounds. My jaw is like feeling kind of crazy right now. Like literally the jaw bone, like, up here, it's like joint, whatever that is. I originally got this because I was like, I'm gonna record today and have video happening, but I just got back from the facial. I literally don't have time to get ready and go record by the time that I'm supposed to be recording. So I canceled that, <laughs> we're not recording today. Also, I was gonna go out tonight and I feel like I don't wanna do that either. I just am so bleh. Um, might go do a movie night or something, but this is definitely something I want to do like maybe once every two weeks I think the signature sculpt is a hundred dollars And I feel like it's good for someone like me who doesn't do like a lot of like gua sha or face massage like myself I don't know. I don't sit down with like time to do that I guess I just it's not my priority in life and I wish it was I wish I would remember to do it But I just don't um, I do have a new face too that I should probably use but I feel like for me, it's worth it to go like once every two weeks or so and do like a really intense face massage, you know? Cause I feel like that really helped with the, my crazy bloating that I had earlier. So now I need to go over to the container store and pick up some stuff that I ordered online. I got some shoe boxes uh, to try in my closet. I'll show you guys um, in the moving vlog, but I have a very small closet space in my room. And then I have like a hall closet 
and then I have my office, which I have little like um, hanging racks, but I'm trying to make the most of all the space. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm gonna go over to container store. Oh gosh, like this. Oh wait, you know what I need to do first? I need to eat some freaking lunch. Welcome to my kitchen again. We're gonna do a late lunch. I have chicken, I have tomatoes, yes, chicken. And then I'm gonna have the rest of this yesterday because Josie and I got this the roll to split and it was so huge so I have this still and the avocado is like not brown or anything that's kind of weird look at me eating at home like a good girl who wants to save her money all right girly gals we're working with what we have so we've got chicken we've got tomatoes we've got this I think this is a spicy tuna roll I probably need some greens but you know I'm trying my best cancel my recording like I said I'm gonna go to the container store and I kind of have the urge to go to the CB2 outlet again. Oh no, I'm back in the wine aisle. I'm gonna stock up on some wine. I really like this kind lately, so I'm gonna grab this kind and maybe a fit vine again. I don't know, y'all. Okay, so I got a number of bottles because there was like a discount if you bought more. So I got two of these red blends from Aveline. They're really low in sugar. I got this Chardonnay. This one says it has 95 calories, less than one gram of sugar for five ounces, I think. I've never tried this, but I do like Chardonnay, so I'm just gonna keep it. Usually I bring wine if I like go to a friend's house or something like that before we go out or whatever, just to like be nice. So I figured I'll just pick this up and probably will bring it to somebody. I also got this Aveline sparkling wine as well. We'll probably bring that to someone too. And then I got the Fitvine Red Blend. I usually do the Fitvine Cabernet, but Anyway, just stocked up because Pavilion's always like just so cheap. I'm using my cutie little rice pot right here. I'm gonna make myself like a protein rice, probably salmon something bowl. Something is happening with the rice <laughs> and a protein and tomatoes and cucumber and avocado. Other than that, I'm really not doing that much exciting stuff tonight that like I would really film. I kind of just want to like relax and lay and clean and listen to a podcast. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also made a nail point for, appointment for tomorrow at 10 a.m. I would like to get up early and do something kind of active. Hopefully the weather's nice tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. So I'm really not gonna film much for the rest of the evening and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all, I'm dressed and ready. I've got my sunscreen on, my skincare on, my rosemary oil in my hair, castor oil on my ends. I am the comfiest ever. We're gonna go get our nails done because I ripped like half of my nails off last night. Um, and then I don't know what's happening today. I said yes to a lot of different plans today, knowing that some of them are not gonna pan out, so we'll see which ones do. But first, I'm gonna get coffee, my morning coffee at Phil's, which I haven't done in like two weeks. Nah, three weeks. We're gonna walk though, because I love walking. That's why I love living in Beverly Hills. I just love walking everywhere. <laughs> Good news, brunch is getting postponed a little bit to like late afternoon, in which case I can't like go really because I already promised dinner and some nighttime plans, which means I'm just gonna do whatever I want today. Hair mask is in, she's sweating. When I left the house, it said it was 58 degrees and it is full sun, so hot outside right now and I really wanna go on a long walk. I need to go to Sephora and make a return. Do I need to do anything else? I need to make a return at Aloe as well. So maybe I'll walk over to those two. I don't know, maybe we'll see what else we can find over there. Maybe I'll look at another Erewhon smoothie, my favorite one, the strawberry one. Could get that. The world is my oyster. I think I need to be ready for dinner. I'm not even sure what time. I probably will do like a late dinner. So like I don't have to be like normal probably or leave my apartment other than this walk until 8 p.m. I do have a lot of stuff to organize up still. I just have so much stuff. When I was moving, I just threw a bunch of stuff into bags. So I have laundry to do, um, I need to vacuum, I need to take out more recycling. It literally just never ends, it never ends. Also, I didn't show you guys the boots I got the other day. Here's some of the stuff I got at that gifting suite. So these are the boots that I got. Being from Texas, I don't even have all of my cowboy boots with me because they're a lot of them are in storage back in Dallas. I have so many boots. Like I already have all the basic colors covered, the black, white, cream, brown. So I didn't know what to get because like I just have all the colors already. So I got these because they're just different from what I have. These are idle wind and i like them because they were like relatively like what they call the shaft of the boot this was relatively like 
slim. I don't like them boobs are like way too big on my legs. I got these, or this little mini skirt. So cute. It's from Understated Leather. Got this hat with my name. I really want to go to Stagecoach, but I feel like most people that I know going are going like with a brand and for work, so I can't just like glom onto their house or something. So I'm really hoping that comes through for me. Lastly, I picked up some 11th hour shades. Here's one pair. I like these. And then here's another. Ooh, I really like these. I don't know if I showed you guys or told y'all these are Amazon shades. I was trying to find like the biggest I could. Sometimes when it comes to cheaper sunglasses, the lenses, they like distort things or, and if they're, here's the thing. If they distort things, which some of them do, a lot of like cheaper sunglass lenses do in my opinion, or have, they have this like weird reflection in, a, in them, um, it makes me like disoriented and it makes my head hurt and like makes me nauseous <laughs> when my vision's fucked. So anyway, these aren't like that. Tortoise and green shades. Um, I don't know how much they are, but they're not expensive. I'm probably gonna buy them in all black too. I, I really like them. Um, and they're in my Amazon shop. What else can I tell you? Oh, my nails. I did a French manicure today for the first time in 8,000 years. I hate my hands, so I, that was that was me being very vulnerable with you guys. <laughs> I just have very big hands, like really long fingers. Like I had a guy recently, was at um, the rodeo in Houston. Some guy was talking to me and I had my hand in like a beer can. <laughs> And he was like, they call them mitts. M multiple men in my life have been like nice mitts. Oh. I will say there have been multiple men, I would say specifically that play sports that are like good mitts. And then they like thought it was hot. So I'm like, I don't really know how to feel about the big hands. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put on a different outfit, namely just not sweatpants. And we're gonna go on a walk, be in the sun, listen to a good playlist. You know what I mean? My um, running errands outfit was influenced by my friend Allison. I always like to give people the credit. You know what I mean? Just like these shades were influences influences influence of my friend tiffany she has the best amazon shop of any influencer i've ever seen her name on instagram is tiffany underscore vp it is so good you have to go go on her instagram go on the links because it is so good this set is from viore and it's so good i usually get camel toe and in, in workout sets like if they have that one line down the middle always camel toe um this one does not so we love it to make a return and I ended up buying a shitload more stuff. Okay, so at a later time, I'm gonna, I'll try on some of this aloe stuff for y'all because inevitably I'll probably return some things. You're in my pantry right now, by the way. But let's do a little Rite Aid haul. Let me show you guys what I got in preparation to go out for a relatively chill night because I know I'm gonna die. Tinder light. This is Pedialyte, but it says it doesn't have any like sucralose or whatever in it. So I got this for tomorrow. So we're gonna put her in the fridge. I should probably have some today too. These Owen shakes really make my life so much easier. I really like the ones that have like 35 grams of protein. This one's 20. I have more tuna left. Butcher Box stocked my freezer. Like I have so much like egg tenders. I have ground beef. I have so much stuff. These guys, y'all. I've been to the grocery store twice now. Still sold out. Maybe I'll have like this tuna salad, the rest of this tuna salad on toast. I got some Topo Chico with lime for my mixer for tonight. Okay, so I went and returned those brushes that I got at Sephora that were total together like $70. And I just picked up these elf brushes that look similar and then a kabuki brush and each of them was $7. So we'll see how that works. I don't usually love elf brushes, but they do get the job done. And then I also got this new lip liner because I can't find any of my lip liners right now. They're probably dispersed throughout like every single one of my purses. Um, this is just the, whatever one I got. Maybelline Color Sensational and Almond Rose. I'm sweaty so I don't want to try this aloe stuff on for y'all, but I do want to try it on. Some of my girlfriends here are just like kind of a lot younger than me. And today they, like I said, wanted to go do all the brunch stuff. And I'm like, I just don't know if I can last like from 3 p.m. to dinner, which is at eight. And then after dinner, I'm supposed to go see people. I just don't think I can do that. Like I feel bad, but I just don't think that's gonna be possible for me. So what I might do is go and meet up with them like before I go to this dinner, like at like six. I feel like I could do that if there was like a really intense reason. Like if like a ton of people were in town, it was like, we're gonna make a full day of things then I could do that or if it was like at someone's birthday, but just like for a regular, regular old weekend, um, I don't think it's for me, you know? Okay, let's try on this stuff. We've got two bags. I did buy three black sports bras, three of them, okay? Starting off strong. I fucking love this. Look at this cute bra. It is showing, usually when it comes to like even athletic wear, like if we're doing full leg, I kind of try to cover up here. 
not for any other reason besides like I just kind of like that. I want to feel like less like I'm wearing a swimsuit and more like I'm wearing athletic wear. So I wear like a short sleeve like red top with this, but I don't really, when it's hot, hot outside, like actually in the summertime, I think this is exactly what I'm going for. Um, and especially going on like walks outside in the sun. It's almost like wearing a swimsuit in a good way because then my tan's gonna be better. So yeah, definitely gonna keep both of these items. I got a small in both. So next I've got this. This isn't really like a set, but I wanted to show you guys this bra because I love when I find bras like this that are really cute, but super supportive. Like these boobs are staying right here. It's not common that I find bras like this, like I said, that are actually like cute to look at. So I'm a big fan of this. I will link all the stuff that I'm wearing that works for me um, below, but it's also ribbed, which I like. I feel like more supported in ribbed activewear. I tried on a set that I did not record. Um, it's this like seamless set. The bottoms gave me like such bad camel toe. So I was like, I just, we'll just, you know, put that on the side. But I love this bra. I wanted to show you guys, I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. I'm gonna take the tag off of this one. But I got this white long sleeve to go with this white skirt. So I have this skirt already in navy and I have it in black. So I really wanted to get it in white because I think it's so cute. I know the full white outfit is a little bit of a risk, but here we are. So cute, she looks like wholesome, huh? I love, wow, we love her, we love her so much. All right, next we have the Accolade sweatpants. I actually have these in a few colors. I got a size medium. I usually like to size up when it comes to sweats, especially if I wanna like roll them like this, and I just like things to be a little bit baggier. They do have a drawstring, uh, so you can tighten them however much you want. I like my sweats, like I said. I usually wear like, in sweat shirts and stuff, I wear like a double XL usually. Um, I just like things to be bigger on me. So medium it is in the bottoms. Actually, I also got a medium in the shorts too. Just like things to be a little looser, you know? And then lastly, I've got this black bra that I really didn't want to fit as well as it does. Of course, it fits well, so we're gonna keep her too because I feel like I live in these, especially with the tennis skirts that I have. I can never do, I can never have too many like black bralettes, but I'll link everything that worked. I'm not gonna link the camel toe set because like, why would I do that? Um, and now what should I do with myself? I have so many things that I could do right now that I, I'm like paralyzed, but nothing I have to do. I'm thinking I'm gonna take the trash out because I've been really putting that off. I was thinking am I gonna be bold and do like some abs after I walked a bunch, but then I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> Shut up, no, you're not. Put away all the laundry that I've been also avoiding and then we'll start like showering. I need to do a little fake tanning, which I've not, I've put off, I put that off. I put it off for like two weeks at this point. Like I have been meaning to do it every weekend and I just don't do it because it scares me. So we'll do that. <laughs> Maybe we'll just get ready for like six hours. <laughs> That's also on my Amazon store, by the way, this mirror. I'm not gonna take a video of me taking out the trash and doing my laundry. I just like, y'all don't need to see that. But maybe we'll do like a long extended getting ready process. That would, might be kind of interesting. All right, y'all, I just got out of the shower. I have my K18 on my hair. So I put this little microfiber, <laughs> fiber. <laughs> On. We're looking extra chic right now, obviously. I'm gonna do my new face. Um, I don't have a tripod right now, so I'm literally just like holding you like this. I'm gonna do my new face though, and I can't do my new face while I'm holding the camera. I'll give you like a little sneak peek while I am doing it. Um, but while I was in the shower, I'll show you guys what I did to get ready. Ooh, it's steaming here still. I used the Way Detox Shampoo, so it's gonna be a little steamy. Um, and then I used this little shampoo massager thing on my scalp. My Purology shampoo, because I haven't washed my hair in a little bit. I use my little gloves, my exfoliator gloves, with my fave body wash right now. Um, and then my K-18 treatment on my hair. I do that like once every couple weeks. So that's what was going on in the shower, but I want to do some spray tan today. Or like, not like not spray tan, it's just like a light tan because I'm so pale. This is the Tan Lux water. This is light medium, radiant tan within four to six hours. So I'm just gonna spray on my skin. I think it'll, it probably won't make that big of a difference, but I've used it a little bit and I do like it. Um, and I haven't noticed any streaks or anything like that. And then I'll do a little tan on my face as well. I just like spray this after my new face action real quick. So I have the like cream on right now. It's like kind of drying, but I'll go over each section like three times, but allegedly if you do this every single day, well, most days it should 
so good. Really helps so to lift you. To really I'm not sure exactly like exactly where I need to go as well. I remember I've gone to New Face to get a facial before, so I kind of just did exactly what I remembered. Um, I probably did some of it wrong, but it's fine. As long as we're moving upwards, I think we're we're good. We're good to go. And now I'm gonna do a little sheet mask because I'm feeling like we need some moisturization going on. I'm gonna lay down and read my book while I do my face mask. I just did the tan looks really quick um, and hopefully it turns out pretty okay. I didn't do it on my face quite yet. Um, I'm gonna do this hydration mask. It's the Rael one. I believe they have these at Target. I really like this brand a lot. Um, so I'm gonna use this and then I'm going to put this over it actually. Ugh, you know what? I lied. I'm gonna do my favorite mask. I have a couple favorite masks. I have a Joanna Vargas one that I love, but recently I'm loving this Zit Sticka Press Refresh Soothing Mask. It has salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and alantoin. Alantoin? Anyway, it really does refresh the shit out of your face. I am obsessed with it. So I'm gonna put this on. And then I'm going to do my little Dr. Dennis Gross mask over it. This only lasts for like three minutes or so. Um, you're supposed to do it daily. I try to keep it by my bed and just put it on whenever I'm like laying down or like literally watching TikTok or whatever. Um, I do the mode that has, I'll show you. So there's like the red light, there's the blue light, and then there's one with both. So I do that. It helps with anti-aging and like acne. Let's put this on, let's put this on. I'm gonna read my book, my 10 pages a day. So here's what we're looking like with the mask on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cool. <laughs> Damn it, it's not charged. I'm gonna read my 10 pages, guys. I'll be back after. The skin's looking okay. I'm kind of having like a little bit of a freak out, I think, on my skin. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. It was made much better by doing all of those things. So now I'm gonna put on my favorite moisturizer, my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And I actually have less time than I thought I did. <laughs> I need to like actually hurry this on. I love this stuff. I love their water cream too, but. I needed something honestly for more like nighttime, so I got the dewy skin cream this time. But I think before makeup, I would usually do the water cream. And I'm gonna start with my hair. I'll let it soak in, then I'll spray my tan water on. Okay, so for my hair, I'm not gonna take a video of doing the whole thing just because it's gonna take forever, and I also kind of want to play some music. But I've got the K18 on right now. Let me get my Dyson out. I kind of want to get the Shark hair dryer because I heard it's like really great. But obviously, I already have the Dyson, so why would I fucking spend even more money? One day, maybe I'll get my hands on it and try it out because I've heard really good things about it. So if you're looking to buy the Dyson, you just like don't want to part with that much money. I think the Shark is like, I don't think it's cheap at all. I think it's just like slightly less expensive. Um, and I've heard really good things. I'm gonna do like a bit of a rough dry. And then I'll do the curler attachments on the Dyson. And I got some rollers and I think I'll just put the top of my hair in rollers though. Like this is a very new process for me. And I don't know if I really have time to do it, but we'll see. I think I've got like maybe an hour to get ready, which should be enough. I just don't know what I'm wearing and I'm already panicking. Why am I panicking? But right now I'm gonna listen to some music that just makes me feel good and hot so I can get in the vibe. I like that playlist Feeling Myself on Spotify. Um, anything Meg Thee Stallion makes me feel good about myself. I have a, a playlist called Lucky Girl on Spotify as well, on my own Spotify that I really like. Uh, so I'll probably just be jamming those playlists. Usually I get ready in truly 20 minutes. Like I am the master of just rushing through everything and not taking my time and just like being late. So with the hour that I have, even though I'm already anxious, I'm gonna just take care of myself right now. But yeah, we'll do the hair first. Let me see, should I put anything in my hair? K18 already has like a heat protectant in it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this feed your ends, leave in conditioner and heat protectant on my ends for shits and gigs. Also another thing I like to do is I put a little oil before I blow dry in my ends. And now we're ready to blow dry. We'll see you guys when we're ready for makeup. All right, well, I know this looks a little wild, but I did not have the patience to do roll all over so I just left this down also I think I used too much K18 in like the top parts of my hair right here we're looking a little greasy but I'm just gonna maybe throw some dry shampoo in that a little bit also I know I need to... one of these needs to be flipped I think it needs to be this one <laughs> what? I'm gonna go make myself a drink real quick while we get ready while I do makeup all right now y'all are in my makeshift not bar cart but area where I keep my wine. <laughs> it is now 6.43, I need to leave here at 7.30. So I think we're good. I think I'm gonna do a 
vodka, Tito's, vodka, Topo Chico, questionable women. Look at these cute glasses. I got them from Amazon. I need to drink so much water too. All right, I'll do a shot of Tito's. Oops, some lemon. This has lime in it. And now I'll get my cute ice that I can't wait to show you guys. My cute circular ice. A little glass straw, and then I'm gonna bring my full water bottle with me because I really need to drink a lot of water. Okay, so I pretty much do the same makeup every single day of my life, but I did get this Glossier Future Do because I've been watching some makeup tutorials on YouTube lately. I saw this guy painted by Spencer was doing skin prep, and he said he really liked this stuff. I will be using this. It says use two pumps all over your face, and it's like an oil serum hybrid it says really to use it as the last step of your skincare routine i'm gonna use it as my first step of makeup over that lovely taco dewy skin cream i'm talking 6 a.m tea times 18 with the mayor talking land banks i waited for it gotta get mine snack a seat up at the table if my man can't head into a meeting we're familiar with no briefcase just my mind in a free state i got a plan through a vision but it takes time i'm gonna make mine Here's what we're looking like right now. I can never quite get my under eyes right. Like I always try to attempt to like set them. It always looks bad. <laughs> we're going ham on the finishing spray here. I just need to do mascara. I'm gonna get my outfit on. I don't know what to wear. We're gonna leave here in about 20 minutes. And I'm gonna go pick up Iman on the way. Cause as y'all saw, Iman's kind of like on my way to everything. And it's gonna be the 30 minute drive, I think. So might as well do it with someone else to get some Good energy going. I'm using this L'Oreal telescopic lift. I got this in like a gifting bag recently. I really like it. I'm kind of all for drugstore mascaras. I feel like my all my favorite mascaras that I've used like in my life that are I would say are like tried and true are actually drugstore mascaras. So next time I get ready, I'm gonna give myself two full hours. I gave myself an hour. I'm also like such a perfectionist. Like I feel like there's like a spectrum of perfectionism. Like for me, I know that if I allow myself to like have enough time to fixate on little things, I will. So in my life, I just like do everything kind of fast because of one anxiety, but two, I just like don't want to fixate on things that don't matter. Like these eyelashes, I could sit here forever and fuck with them. I only do mascara on the top. I have my uh, Make It By Mario nudes palette. I usually use. I cannot find it anywhere. All my stuff is just everywhere. I was always told to do, to not do lower liner and stuff on my eyes because my eyes are pretty small and it just kind of like makes them look even smaller. But lately I kind of feel like small eyes are in and like hooded eyes are in kind of. I do wish I knew how to put on like a very natural looking lash. I'm gonna prep my lips first and then we'll go pick out an outfit. I think it's kind of cold outside. All right, so I put on this outfit. It's just this bodysuit and lovely toilet in the background. These pistola pants, this is kind of like my uniform and I don't know what to wear and it's like kind of cold outside right now, which I just don't really know how to dress for that. Okay. Mom's gonna bring me a lint roller cause I've got some lint on here. I need to go like right now. She wants me to get her or bring her a roadie in the Uber of wine. So I'm glad I got that Chardonnay yesterday cause that's what she likes. And then in turn, she's gonna make me a roadie of vodka when we go pick her up. Isn't that so lovely and nice and cute of us? And then I put my lips on. I usually do that like last. Hopefully it'll fall and it'll just look kind of like more natural and less like done up. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna wear these silver earrings or keep them on. Should I go for the bigger ones? We'll go for a little chunkier. I have some really cute necklaces coming in that I'm excited for. These flyaways are gonna be the freaking death of me. All right, let's do lips before I like literally forget and just walk out of here with no lips on. I kind of overline right here in the middle, but then like stay on my normal lip line. Really just makes everything way better. I'll use this Rare Beauty Lip Souffle. No, it's too matte. Okay, I'm just gonna put lip gloss on in the car. Here's what we're kind of looking at. That's cute. Okay, we'll put on some booties too. Didn't even finish this drink. I barely even started it. Here's the final product. I think it's giving a little bit of 90s. The hair is giving like, if I didn't have so many split ends and it wasn't so dry on the end, like it's kind of giving like, Knock off Rachel Green. Of course, before I leave, I've got to have my perfume of choice, Baccarat Rouge. Here is my outfit, simple to the point. My boots are shuts. I have them in like a cream color too because I just wear them so much. They're perfect for going out. And then I've got my little color block Chanel on um, and very minimal 
jewelry. I wish I had a comb or something to bring. I'm wearing my phone now. Free mom's drink. I really only have this water bottle. Um, so I'm just gonna put some Chardonnay in it. Some sugar-free, or I guess low sugar. Chardonnay. This is called liquid light. I don't know how much is normal. It looks about right. Um, okay, here's our little to-go's. There's mine from Iman, and there's Iman's from me. And here's Eames in her cute outfit. I was so excited to see this on her. So happy I got that PD light. I did not take my makeup off, obviously. I got home last night at like 1.30, which actually like was pretty great. Me and Iman went to dinner with Robin and her friend. Robin is uh, on TikTok, better known as Girl Boss Town. She does like all these like PR move things that are so good. And she's coming on the podcast this week and she's like so interesting and fun. So we wanted to do like a pre-dinner so I could like get to know her a little bit better because you know, I don't usually like to have people on the podcast that I just like don't know <laughs> at all because um, I like to just get to know their like whole vibe and stuff because uh, I like conversation <gasps> to feel like really natural. That's why I usually just have like my friends on or something or people I've known for a long time. I'm starting to have more guests on and I'm really liking the process of like going to dinner with them first and talking about the episode and like seeing what they want to talk about and just getting to know them a little better. So went to dinner with Robin and them. And then Iman and I went and met my friend Sophia, oh gosh, at Winston House uh, for a sec. There was this one guy there that I swear he's DM'd me before. And I think he deleted it. <laughs> I kept seeing him at Winston House and he kept coming up to me when I saw him and like talking to me. And he wasn't bad looking, not usually, not my normal type, but he asked me on a date and I was like, I'm not going on a date with you. And then Iman was like, hold on a minute. So Iman like brought him into this like other room and was talking to him and asking him a million questions. Like, what do you do? What's your faith? <laughs> What's your political stance? What's like the most, like, are you close with your family? Like all of these things. And she comes back as like, it's like a screening tactic. And she comes back and she's like, Peyton, you should go on a date with him. I like him. He, this is his deal. And I was like, okay. She comes in the other room, takes my phone and goes back into the other room with this guy and gives me his number. And she says, we'll be in contact <laughs> if we're interested. Anyway, that's how I'm doing dates from now on. I'm gonna have Yvonne screen them for me. That's just how it's gonna go. We've not contacted him yet, but maybe. I found out his name so I can creep on his Instagram at least. I don't know that I'm ready to go on dates yet. As I've said, it's nice to have male energy, I guess. Like I'm okay with male energy being near me. I just don't know if I <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Not too close, this far away. But anyways, last night was fun. Then I went to the Lincoln and met up with some friends there and then came home. Iman went to Off Sunset, which I went there last week. It's always kind of like a little bit crazy. So I really didn't need to be going all the way over there. That's it, that was last night. And then I came home and was too tired to take my makeup off. Obviously it's still on. And now I'm just laying here. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's probably like 10. It's 11. I'm gonna go drink this Pedialyte. I was gonna wash my sheets yesterday and then I was like, you know what? You're gross. I know you're gonna come home tonight and not shower. <laughs> so <laughs> I left them and today we're washing the sheets. I did a lot of Sunday things yesterday. Oh, also last night at Winston House, there was this guy that was being so fucking annoying to like all of the girls at Winston House, which this place is pretty large. So it's hard to fuck with everyone, you know? He was bothering this one girl at the bar and the bartender, finally this like big guy, okay? Was like, if you don't fucking stop, I'm going to kick you out. She does not want to talk to you. And we were all just like, <laughs> I rarely see men like reprimand other men for being horrible. And this guy killed it. He got a big fat tip for me <laughs> because he was so scary. And the guy immediately like stopped, like, sank back and then walked in the other room and the guy was like don't worry all of us know exactly what he looks like and he's about to get kicked out and we were like yes he was literally harassing people go winston house for that i have a glass of this and i've got my big water bottle okay i'm about to i'm about to take a bunch of supplements this morning like my morning and night ones because i didn't take my night time i don't take these every single night because honestly i just forget sometimes and then sometimes i'm also like this is so many things to put in my mouth <laughs> 
and I'm just lazy. But anyway, I'm gonna take this magnesium. I do try to take this like every single day from Symbiotica. And then in here, I've got my antidepressants, my probiotic, I've got my ritual, um, what's it called? Multivitamin, my probiotic is also ritual. Use, use good Peyton 20, y'all. Um, I've got like a turmeric supplement for inflammation, Nutrafol, uh, omega 3s, and then in here, I have this supplement called NMN, um, also from Symbiotica. Um, it's supposed to help with like anti aging and stuff. And then I just got maca because I've heard a lot about it for uh, like supporting hormones. I got some of that, and this is what we're taking this morning along with my water obviously drinking water and then Pedialyte and hopefully I'm not gonna be too hungover all day. Okay, I'm back to laying down. I'm gonna order Postmates right now and then watch some TikTok probably. My head hurts so I need to go take an Advil and then I need to chug even more water. But what should I order? Earth is actually close. I really should go like on a walk or something. I just don't want to. I also just like have hungover brain so it's like I literally have like one thought per every 10 seconds and just hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all are gonna be proud of me. So I was gonna order some Joe and the juice and I realized what I was ordering. I literally have all the ingredients to make pretty much the exact same thing. It's probably not gonna be like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's probably not gonna be like as good, but I was ordering the one of their like crispy tuna sandwiches. They used to have this sandwich that I love. It's like this turkey sandwich, but they don't have it anymore. Um, but they have, it's like a crispy bread tuna sandwich with avocado and tomatoes which i have all of those things i don't have the really good bread but i do have my own bread that i should probably eat and i still have tuna salad left over and then i was gonna order a coffee but i have coffee here and then i was gonna order a green juice but i have a green juice here i'm just not gonna order any postmates and i'm gonna eat here i'm so mature y'all it's raining outside so i guess i can't go on a walk oh no <laughs> just took Two Advil has not kicked in yet. Also, I'm wearing my hat. I wanted to try it on from the other day with my name on it. It's so cute. All right, I set you up. I'm still wearing my hat. It's giving Texas pee. I actually have been really just like, I don't want to say yearning. <laughs> that sounds dramatic. I have been really wanting to spend more time in Texas lately. I think it would be my dream to just be based in Southern California somewhere and then have of like land in Texas and be able to go there. My family has, oh my God, I was just burped. My family has a ranch that we have gone to every summer. Or I went to every summer growing up because I did move around a little bit. But like this house is like where my heights are on the wall, at which I just don't have a place like that in my life. I actually realized the other day that I call Fort Worth, Texas, my hometown. I moved there when I was 12. So the longest I lived anywhere growing up was that six years, 12 to 18. And I've been in LA now, barring this last year of moving around, for seven years. But I love Southern California, I wanna stay here, but I would love to have land. Anyways, my point is, my family has this ranch house and it's in really, really deep East Texas. Like it's like, like an hour away from Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't know how long we're gonna keep it. I really hope that we keep it forever, but it's just like a lot to handle if you're not like actually living out there. There's too many things to take care of and it's so far from any airport like you'll you land in dallas and i would say it's like a three hour drive east of dallas so i'm trying to think like where i would even want to buy property there like i want it to be like in in the country but not too far in the country like our place our place in east texas is i mean 10 minutes out of any kind of like city lights it's just out in the middle of literally nothing which is really fun the stars are amazing it was so fun to spend summers there as a child because we would just like go into town and like stock up on groceries and then go out like into the sticks and stay there for a week and just have everything we need we have lead in the water right now which means you can't take a shower um if you have blonde hair and like use the shower thing i think we just got it fixed but it was like that for like seven years or eight years so we'd have to just bring water jugs into the into the shower and like wash our hair <laughs> with the water jugs um and this house it's like a really nice house but it's just like country <laughs> very country so i'd like something a little less country than that but like still like out in nothing and beautiful and and a place to have space i feel like and land in Texas, depending on where you go, isn't that, I mean, in comparison to like California, obviously, isn't that crazy expensive, but the property taxes are kind of fucked up. So anyway, I've just been thinking about that. I've been really like just 
feeling called to hang out more in Texas lately. And I feel like if I do buy something like in my life, because I don't know where I want to like live, live, like I don't know if I'll end up here in LA or if I'll be in like San Diego or wherever, like long term, I do know that I want to have a place in Texas. Like I do know that's a goal. So maybe that's something in my future that I can like set as a goal and work towards. I also realized I never thought I was a, I have all these new goals now. Now that I'm single, I'm like, okay, I need all this energy to go somewhere, but I can't put it all into just work because I did that before my relationship. And the thing my relationship taught me was to like, slow the fuck down. You don't need to work all the time. But now all my goals are surrounding big decision, like big decision buys. So now I need more money. So now I need to work harder, I guess. This is literally my internal monologue right now. Sorry guys. So my goal this year is to save a ton of money and invest well, and then try to figure out how to buy some type of property. I was also thinking about buying, like doing what everyone does and just like buying some, um, what's it called? Rental properties somewhere but that just seems like a whole thing. Like I'd have to just really immerse myself and learn so much about that. But that could be interesting. My friend Allie does Airbnbs, which I just don't think is me. I don't think it's my vibes because I don't want to do like marketing and stuff for them. I just like want to have properties that people live in and pay me or I have a property like in Texas where I just, I put some money in and it's there. Another thing I really have found myself wanting, this is a little more like dumb, but I've never really liked G-Wagons. Like I just didn't really get the hype. I feel like they ride kind of rough too. And they're so fucking expensive, obviously. But I saw a brown one somewhat recently and I like pooped my pants. It was so pretty. There's something about the, it's like, it was like a, almost a matte brown or like bronzy color. It was so gorgeous. And I think if you have a company, you can write off a car that's that weight because it's so heavy and use it as a company car. So it might not be a horrible tax decision, but it's very expensive. And I haven't gotten a new car in seven years. I got my car when I turned 22 and I've been driving the same car for seven years. And I like my car. It's still going, we're good. I'm not a huge car person, so I haven't really like thought to even upgrade the car, but maybe I'll do it. This is just my morning thoughts. I told y'all we were gonna make food and I just put on a cowboy hat and talked about Texas in a G wagon, so. You never know what you're gonna get around here. Let's make some food. I did chug this entire 40 ounces of water. So we're gonna refill this up again. I have aminos that I should probably put in here. I got these for recovery from workout because you guys know I'm a gym girly now. Well, not a gym girly, but I'm a weightlifting girly now. And I feel so like, I just like feel like a, like a gym girly. Like I literally wear Gymshark drink protein shakes and lift weights and drink liquid aminos. Who the fuck took over my body? I'm gonna try to defrost this because I kind of want to make tacos tonight. Okay, so I have this like kind of thin slice bread. Toast this up. Yo, I am the worst at toasting toast. The first go around, it's always not toasty enough. And then the second go around, I put on a low setting and it's always burnt. If that happens, just know I called it. So I think we're gonna go food first, then I'll have coffee after. That's kind of gross. Like tuna and coffee mix. This is also my first time buying canned tuna. I've always kind of been grossed out by that. And I'm still like slightly grossed out, <laughs> but it is good. Like it's pretty good. Now for the tuna salad. All right, does it have a French fry setting? It does. Built the dishwasher is so loud. Okay, I'm drinking my little green juice. I'm gonna make these French fries. This is an endeavor. This is taking way longer than I thought it would. Hey, I guess we're just gonna wait 25 minutes. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, we didn't need the full 30 minutes. They're pretty crispy. These little set of glass bowls, so handy. I use them for everything. I just got off the phone with Iman. Something funny that happened last night. So we've been friends for like eight years, Iman and I. I met her when I was in college. She was like a little bit younger, but we held hands for the first time because we were walking through Winston House last night together and like it was so like jam packed and we were like, we have never held hands before. It was so weird, but we both were like, aw, <laughs> cute. Eames went out after I came home last night. She like went out in like actual West Hollywood, which was, it was too much of a sin for me to do that last night. So I didn't go, but she has, stories to tell me. So I'm gonna go see Eames today. Maybe my friend Sophie. This looks beautiful. It was worth the wait. Wow. Y'all, yum. Now I'm gonna watch some Netflix and eat this. I try to like enjoy myself when I'm eating. Like I wanna sit down in front of something and watch something like informative or helpful. We'll see, we'll find something. That's gonna take another 30 minutes. This is gonna be sitting here for so long. 
<laughs> I'll come back after I've done with my Netflixing and we'll see what we're gonna do today. All right, y'all, I realized I kind of left you hanging and didn't even tell you if I enjoyed my lunch. So fries are good. They could use a little more salt. Next, sandwich is good. Honestly, better than I thought it was gonna be after sitting for a little while. Now I'm watching Your Honor. I said I was gonna watch Netflix, but I wanted to tell y'all, if you haven't seen Your Honor, you should watch it. It's kind of fucked up but it's so good. I'm on season two right now and a new episode is out, so we're gonna watch that. All right, y'all, I bet at Iman's house all day. Well, most day of the day, we're watching Love Island. I ate Chipotle and some ice cream and I'm having these healthy Skittles. I'm gonna go home in like 20 minutes. I think my Amazon stuff is there, so I'm really excited. And that's it. I just like love candy. All right, anyway, love y'all. Come find me on Instagram if you're new here. And subscribe to my channel. Thanks, okay, bye.